Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here to talk about Google Now. And Google Now comes in a lot of different forms, whether it's the launcher, whether it's cards, whether it's notifications, whether it's voice search. There's lots of different functionalities to Google Now. So I wanna go a little bit more in depth, talk about some things and neat features that you might not know about. So let's get started. Here's the first one. What's the weather? Okay, obviously kidding, that's a very basic command, but I wanna get started. So one thing you might not know about is that you can access all of your old voice searches straight from a specific website. I'll link to it in the description, but check this out. Hey YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay, so I just did a voice search for that. Now watch, the, I go to this website that I just mentioned. I'm gonna refresh it, and I'm just gonna hit play on the last thing that I said, listen. Hey YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel. See? It's very instant and you can really scroll through your history, your voice search history all the way through. Something else a lot of people don't know about is that you can set specific names for people such as boyfriend, girlfriend, mom, dad, brother, sister, best friend. So let's say for example, I'm like, send a text to my best friend. Who is your best friend? It's gonna ask you and you can respond to anyone or you can press this drop down and it's going to go into your contacts and you can select a specific contact that notifies his best friend. Another nice little unknown feature within the maps is that they have certain filters so if I wanted to say what's the nearest breakfast place? So you'll see what's the nearest breakfast place. Now you'll also notice some of these are closed but they have an open now filter that you can select. So you go to open now, they have top rated, cheap, upscale as well, but also you can use that straight within voice search. So if I'm looking for a breakfast place and I know there some are going to be closed, what's the nearest breakfast place that's still open? And it's gonna come back with that filter already applied. And you can do the same with top rated or cheap or upscale. Also another neat feature you might not know about is that you can send things from your PC to your tablet or phone if they are both connected to your Google account. You just go to google.com on your PC and you can say things such as send a note to your phone or send directions to your phone, for example. I'll post a link in the description if you're interested in setting that up yourself. If you ask Google Now something and you get distracted and you need something repeated, you can ask it. Define fun. Fun, enjoyment, amusement, or lighthearted pleasure. Now just press the mic again. Repeat that. You get what I'm saying. Now you can also customize which third-party apps show up in Google Now. You just swipe over, go to Customize, and then scroll all the way down, and you'll see Apps and Websites. And down at the bottom is where your individual apps. So if you don't want Pandora to show up Now cards within Google Now, you just go ahead and press No. Now another neat feature of Google Now is it notifies you of upcoming rain, not just if it's gonna rain today, but it'll be like, oh, this weekend it might rain, so be he just heads up if you're going outside. Something I also want to make mention of is sports and that it is much better. Real-time sports scores have been significantly more improved and more up-to-date. Also scores and just schedules in general. NHL scores. It's going to give you a list of the entire NHL and the entire scores. And you can go by dates. If you want to see yesterday, you'll see the Blackhawks lost to the Hurricanes, unfortunately. And you can tap on specific games and get more detailed information about it. It's just very comprehensive no matter what league you're looking for. And then finally, a couple more me and my friends have used to make decisions and other things. Roll a dice. Rolling a die. You rolled a six. There you go. Or flip a coin. Flipping a coin. It's Which is always convenient because most people don't really carry around change anymore. But that's it. So that would be just kind of an updated new features. Uh, not necessarily new, but just more hidden features within Google Now. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, click thumbs up. You can follow me at Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all links in the description below. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.